Last Tuesday, July 23rd, Israel was singled out again by the UN's Economic and Social Council as the only country in the world that violates women's rights. It could have been funny, but it's not. This hypocritical resolution was adopted by 40 out of 54 UN member countries. Among them were countries like France, the Netherlands, Denmark, Ireland, and Luxembourg. But guess what? Even Saudi Arabia, Iran, and Pakistan, which were ranked among the top 10 worst countries by last year's Global Gender Gap Report, took part in condemning Israel. Again, Israel, the only democracy in the Middle East, condemned by the world's worst abusers of women's rights. I told you, it could have been funny. Multitudes of poor domestic women workers from third world countries are beaten, raped and disappeared in Saudi Arabia and the Gulf states. And the UN is silent. Millions of women in Arab countries suffer weeping, stoning and honor killing and the world is silent. Even in multicultural Europe, Arab women suffer rape and honor killing, but countries like France, the Netherlands, Denmark and Ireland collaborate with evil and ignore these crimes while condemning free and democratic Israel. So let's talk about Israel. Israeli Arab women enjoy access to high quality education, jobs and political rights and freedom like women in any other developed liberal democracy, but this information will not reach the viewers around the world. Even women in the so-called West Bank are much better off economically, politically and in terms of their safety than in most Arab countries, only because of Israel's influence. Let's sum it up. This hypocritical UN resolution is not only a blatant expression of anti-Semitism, it is also an injustice against the oppressed and abused women in Arab countries who have no one to speak up for them. Because the UN is too busy condemning the only country in the Middle East where women are equal and free. Israel.